should be ashamed for suggesting that Biden family sought to profit from their name. Well, here are the facts I know, and everything I'm saying is corroborated by emails, WhatsApp chats, agreements, documents, and other evidence. And the American people can judge for themselves. I brought, I guess, for record, three phones that spanned the years 2015 through 2018. These phones have never been held by anybody else besides myself. I was told this past Sunday by somebody who was also involved in this matter that if I went public this information, it'd be, it would bury all of us, man, the Bidens included. I have no wish to bury anyone. I've never been political. The few contributions I have made have been to Democrats. But what I am is a patriot and a veteran. To protect my family name and my business reputation, I need to ensure that the true facts are out there. In late 2015, I was approached by James Gillier, whom I had known for many years, about joining him in a deal which he said would involve the Chinese state-owned enterprise, CFC China Energy, and what he called one of the most prominent families in the United States. I was informed first by Gillier, and then by Hunter Biden, and by Rob Walker, who was working with the Bidens that the Bidens wanted to form a new entity with CFC, which was to invest in infrastructure, real estate, and technology in the US and around the world. And the entity would initially be capitalized with $10 million and then grow to billions of dollars of investment capital. After months of discussion, I agreed to Gillian and Hunter Biden's request to become CEO of the entity to be called Sinohawk. Sino representing the Chinese side, Hawk representing Hunter Biden's brother Bo's favorite animal. And between February and May 2017, we exchanged numerous emails, documents, and WhatsApp messages concerning Sino Hawk and its potential business. On May 2nd, 2017, the night before Joe Biden was to appear at the Milken Conference, I was introduced to Joe Biden by Jim Biden and Hunter Biden. At approximately and at my approximately hour-long meeting with Joe that night, we discussed the Biden's history, the Biden's family business plans with the Chinese, with which he was plainly familiar, at least at a high level. After that meeting, I had numerous communications with Hunter, Walker, Gillier, and Jim Biden regarding the allocation of the equity ownership of Sinohawk. On May 13, 2017, I received an email concerning allocation of equity, which says 10% held by H for the big guy. In that email, there's no question that H stands for Hunter, big guy for his father, Joe Biden, and Jim for Jim Biden. In fact, Hunter often referred to his father as the big guy or my chairman. On numerous occasions, it was made clear to me that Joe Biden's involvement was not to be mentioned in writing, but only face to face. In fact, I was advised by Gillier and Walker that Hunter and Jim Biden were paranoid about keeping Joe Biden's involvement secret. I also had a disagreement with Hunter about the funds CFC was contributing to Sinohawk. Hunter wanted five million of those funds to go to himself and his family. So he wanted the funds wired directly to an entity affiliated with him. I objected because that was contrary to our written agreements concerning Sinohawk. He said, referring to the chairman, his father, that CFC was really investing in the Biden family, that he held the Trump card, and that he was the one putting his family legacy on the line. He also said to me on May 17, 2017, that CFC wanted to be my partner, to be partner with the Bidens. During these negotiations, I repeated to Hunter and others that Sinohawk could not be Hunter's personal piggy bank. And I demanded that proper corporate governance procedures be implemented for capital distributions. Hunter became very upset with me. CFC through, two, through July 2017 was assuring me the funds would be transferred to Sinohawk, but they were never sent to our company. Instead, I found out from Senator Johnson's September report 
that the $5 million was sent in August 2017 to entities affiliated with Hunter.